It is Quick Tip Tuesday here, guys. My name is Jason Yulofsky, if you're new here, and I make tons of videos about DaVinci Resolve. Today, I've got a tip for you that is gonna save you some time, and that is how we can save the settings for open effects that we use a lot here in DaVinci Resolve. Maybe you use a Gaussian blur like this a lot, and you wanna save that as like a preset, right? Or maybe you use some edge detect like this, and you wanna save that. How do I save it so I don't have to redo my settings every single time I wanna use the effect? So that's what we're talking about. Let's jump into Resolve and check this out. So in Resolve here, I'm in the Edit tab right down here. Now, let's open up our Open Effects. So come on up to your Effects Library and Open Effects right here. Now, we've got a ton of great stuff that we can use in here, and we can put these on any one of our clips, but let's say we use the same thing very often, and we want to save a preset for it. How do we do that? So here's how you save a preset. Well, it's not really a preset, but it kind of is, but it's kind of not. Here's what you can do, a nice little workaround. Let's go ahead and delete this. What I'm going to do is come to my Effects. I'm going to grab an Adjustment Clip. I'm going to throw it on top of my clip right now. Come back to my open effect. I'm going to go down and grab that edge detect. I'm going to drop it on the adjustment clip. Then I'm going to go ahead into my inspector up here, and I'm going to make the changes that I want to make. Make it look however I want. All right, that's kind of cool. I like that. Now what I'm going to do is with the adjustment effect, having these settings saved in it, I'm going to dump it in a power bin. So to make sure you got your power bins open, close your effects library, open your media pool. You got power bins right here. If you don't see the power bins, come on up to view. All the way down here, power bins, you wanna make sure that that's checked on, and then you should have your power bins. Now I have one called Save OFX, and this is where I wanna put it. So I'm gonna grab my adjustment clip, and I'm gonna drop it in here. And now that adjustment clip with the effect is saved in my power bin, and I can use it on any project. You can even come in here and rename it, double click on the name, I'm gonna call this Edge Detect. And now I know that my edge detect effect is on this clip. So if I wanted to go to another project, it's here in my power bin, I can click it, drag it, put it right on top of another clip, and boom, we're gonna get the same effect with the same settings on that adjustment clip whenever we bring it into our timeline. Now you might be saying, wait a second, I don't want it on an adjustment layer because it affects everything below it. I want it on a particular clip. I got you covered, here's what you can do. When you bring it in your timeline, we have it right here, we can come select it, copy it using Command or Control C, then go to the clip that you wanna paste your effect to, or have it applied to. So in this case, the hot lava here. Then I'm gonna use Option or Alt V to paste attributes, which is gonna bring up this window for me. Now you can select all of them if you want because the only thing I changed on the adjustment clip is the effect. So that's the only thing that's gonna actually change my clip. So I'll go ahead and hit apply. Boom, there we go. That effect, if I look in my inspector up here, has all the settings that I want for this particular clip, right? With my edge detect. Let's say maybe use something like a Gaussian blur, right? I'm gonna come back to my effects library. We're gonna put another adjustment layer on here. I use a Gaussian blur on here a lot, let's say, for example. I'm gonna reset all this stuff here. On my adjustment clip, I'm gonna come into my open effects, Gaussian blur. I'm gonna drop it on my adjustment layer. We've got our blur. Maybe I wanna adjust the strength a little bit. Looks good to me. Now I'm gonna click this, drag it back into my power bin over here. I'm gonna change the name of it and call this blur. Boom, okay, delete these guys, get rid of them. Just drag my blur down. Boom, there is my blur with all my settings. And again, if you wanna apply it to the clip and you don't wanna use the adjustment layer, hey, I get it, that's cool, no problem. Select your adjustment layer, Commander Control C to copy it. Select the clip you wanna apply the effect to. Option or Alt V. Gonna bring up your paste attributes. You can just select plugins if you want. So in this case, I'll show you that. Plugins, apply, boom. We have our Gaussian blur on that clip. And one last example here, let's say right on here, I wanna add in a little camera shake, right? That's pretty smooth, I mean, I kinda like that. But let's just say I wanna throw on some camera shake. Again, effects, adjustment clip, drop it on top, go to my open effect, scroll down to my camera shake, we're gonna drop that on there. This doesn't look good, I don't like it. Let's change some settings in my inspector. Right here, effects, slow down the scale, add some motion blur, make some adjustments here like this. How's that look? All right, that looks good to me. So let's say, I wanna save that. We got my power bin open right here. I have a save open FX power bin. Gonna drag it in, change the name, camera shake. So now if I wanted to apply it, again, drag it in the timeline. I can either use the adjustment clip right on top if I want, or I can just select the adjustment layer, command or control C, go to my clip I wanna apply the effect to, option or alt, V, go ahead and paste your plugins. Boom, we've got our plugins on there. We can see it in the inspector. You are good to go. You just saved some presets. That's not really a preset, but it kind of is a preset here for your open effects in DaVinci Resolve. You can do this with any one of the effects in there and it really helps speed up your workflow. If you want some more Quick Tip Tuesday and you want to know how to save some more time, check out the playlist up over here. Or uh, YouTube's going to recommend something down there. But uh, a lot of DaVinci Resolve videos, you should check them out. You should really check them out. 
So much to learn. So much to learn. All right, guys, we will see you in the next video. Peace.